Hey everybody, Final Thoughts time for Ganymede, which is a very sharp, fun little engine building card drafting game. It sets out to do what it wants to do beautifully. There's just a really fun, fast rhythm and flow to it. You're just constantly zip, 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 zooming. And like any good engine builder, it is so satisfying when you build up some really big engine. And in this game, the engines are super easy to build. It just is a matter of collect set collecting, getting the cards or recruitment tiles of the same color. Because when you get that fourth one or that fifth one or that sixth one and you slot it in, Boom! You get such a huge explosion of options. It just feels great. I mean, it's such a great dopamine rush. You know, you know, triggering the pleasure centers of your brain. It's just, gr oh my gosh. I mean, Jen loves it. And I really like it a lot too. Uh, you know, it looks great. It's beautiful. It's bright. It's colorful. The art is, is very striking. And again, the the, the playtime is very fast. I mean, it, you know, it starts out kind of slow, builds up speed, and then just like you know, just rushes to the finish line at 100 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, there's a lot to like here. Uh, really, really sharp, and some nice, interesting, different strategies too. Going broad as opposed to going deep, as you saw in the run through, I was doing both of them. Both of these options uh, were playing off, you know, focusing on the renown bar or just completely ignoring it all together. A lot of good stuff to recommend here in Ganymede. Really like it a lot. I will say I have one problem with it though, and I don't know if there's really much to be done about it. I think it's just kind of part and parcel. It's it's just gonna be part of the nature of the game. It can be very swingy. Getting back to that core central mechanism, the notion of getting a lot of cards or a lot of tiles of the same color so you can trigger really big moves that catapult you ahead, that won't always happen. There can be circumstances where, oh, hey, you, you got a purple tile, and, and oh, well, you know, right before your turn, another purple tile came out. So I guess you'll do that, and you'll get another. And then you got, oh my gosh, three of a kind. And in the time I was able to recruit three uh, you know, uh, people on Earth, you recruited twice as many. You recruited six. And that can give you such a huge leg up over me that I maybe can't recover. In fact, I mean, really, the only way I can recover is if sooner or later I get a nice little combo card chain like that too. And there's no guarantee that will happen. Uh, and it could be round after round after round. Look, I've got the two yellows up there. Just give me a third yellow. I've been waiting half the game for a third yellow so I can go on ahead and snag it and find get that big triple play like everybody else did early in the game and I've been behind and it just never ever comes or it does come but somebody else always keeps grabbing it because it's useful for them too and you know at some point you just got to give up and say you know what they're never coming fine I'm just dumping all of these to do some quick actions and I'll start rebuilding with all these oh and then the yellow comes out Ganymede! that can be hugely frustrating uh, because you, I mean, make no mistake, you could lose the game because of that, uh, because of random swings of luck. The engine, your opponent got lucky and an engine kind of fell into their lap, whereas you had to work really hard for it and they just got the big leg up and you never caught up. So that's the problem with the game. Uh, it, it, it can happen. I mean, it probably will. On the flip side, though, as a two-player game anyway, I don't know that it matters because this is like a 15-20 minute game, Jen, I found. I mean, you saw how quick it was going in the run-through. Of course, it was taking a while because I was explaining things and talking through stuff and all that, but this is a whippersnap, lightning quick game. And so, you know, if you did get completely bowled over by bad luck, which will happen from time to time, no big just play again. It's because the game is over that fast. Uh, so. I don't know that I'm bothered by it enough. I know, I know Jen loves this. Um, you know, when we finished it the first time, she said, "Oh my God, that's so amazing! Of course, we're going to keep this game." And I'm like, "I don't know." Um, you know, and we played it again, and I, you know, I, it definitely evens out. But you might have to play a few times before. Oh, this time you got. Oh, it's almost kind of like the equivalent of getting mana hosed in in Magic. You know, sometimes. The deck just hates you. And turn after turn after turn, you can never get that mana you need. And your opponent just says, Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, everything fell into my lap. Everything went great. And I've completely done the 20 points of damage to you before you even got started. That can happen in Magic. It's why I don't like Magic. It's why I quit playing Magic all those years ago. And no amount of smart deck building can counteract that. A lesser version of that can happen here. And um, you know, if, if, you, if you let it get to you, it can kind of bug you. It can get under your skin. But it's such a minor thing, again, because the game is so gosh darn pretty, and it's so gosh darn fast, and it's so gosh darn satisfying. You know what, folks? 
That's Ganymede. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.